चैप्टर थ्री फैक्ट विच नीड नॉट टू बी प्रूव सेक्शन 56 टू 58 एट अ जुडिशियल एडमिशन ऑपरेट टेस्ट अ वेवर्ड ऑफ प्रूफ अंडर सेक्शन 57 सेवन वन ऑफ इंडियन एविडेंस द कोर्ट सेल टेक जुडिशियल नोटिस ऑफ ऑल द लॉ इन्फोर्स इन इंडिया द कोर्ट कैन टेक जुडिशियल नोटिस ऑफ नन ऑफ द एवर Consider the following statement. The proceeding of the Parliament of State Legislature of India is judicial noticeable fact. Criminal law enforced in India is judicial noticeable fact. In Indian Evidence Act, fact which is judicially notice is to be taken stated in Section fifty seven. The rule shall take judicial notice of rule of road of the land and sea, which one of the following need not to be proved. Fact taken judicial notice by court. Fact judicially noticeable need not to be proved. The court cannot take a judicial notice of which of the following facts. any news item published in newspaper what is judicial notice none of the above which fact under indian evidence act need not to be proved those which deemed to have been admitted those whose judicial noticeable those who which are actually admitted fact of which judicial notice has to be taken by taken by the court is stated under which one of the following of the indian evidence act section 57 under section 57 of indian evidence act it is not bound to take judicial notice of which one of the following fact nasa emblem of every state recognized by the government of india fact of which court must judicial notice include the gazetted holidays observed by the government of india rules of road the term judicial notice under indian evidence act means to recognize without the proof of something and existing the fact of which the court will judicially notice under indian evidence act 1872 is need not to be proved which one of the following fact need not to be proved fact taken judicial notice by court under section 57 one of indian evidence act court shall take judicial notice of all the law force in india under indian evidence act 1872 fact of which the court will be take judicial notice is need not to be proved fact which need not to be proved by parties include fact which have been admitted by the party at or before hearing section 58 of indian evidence act deals with formal admission which one of the following section of indian evidence act says fact admitted need not to be proved section 58 which one of the following fact need not to be proved fact which are admitted under indian evidence act which one of the following fact need not to be proved all law force in india all public act proceeding of the parliament and legislative assembly in india which among the following is not a fact admitted fact which is unconstated unconstated by the opposite party which one of the following need not to be proved loan record on banks which statement is not true If a bill of exchange is drawn in the set of three, all three need not to be proved. Chapter four, Euler evidence, section fifty-nine to sixty. 
which one of the following statement is not correct all fact and the content of document may be proved by oral evidence which one of the following statement is correct a who has taken bow of silence give evidence in writing in open court his evidence shall deem to be oral evidence the content of document under the section 59 of indian evidence act cannot be proved by oral evidence what is the nature and statement of narco test it is an oral evidence which one of the following statement is not correct all fact and content of all the document may be proved by oral evidence oral evidence is not is allowed only when it gives in court a witness who is unable to speak give his evidence by writing in open court evidence so given shall be deemed to be oral evidence oral evidence under section 60 of indian evidence act must be in all cases direct oral evidence under section 60 of indian evidence act must be direct only a who is unable to speak by birth give his testimony by writing in open court evidence so given is treated under indian evidence act as oral evidence witness unable to speak if give his statement in writing before court then such a statement shall be deemed to be oral evidence evidence given by witness who is dumb is writing is deemed as oral evidence a person who has taken solemnly promise of silence give evidence in writing in open court his evidence shall deemed be oral evidence whether the content of document or electronic records can proved by oral evidence no which one which one among the following statement according to indian evidence act is correct a fact except the content of document or electronic record may be proved by oral evidence oral evidence under section 60 of indian evidence act must be in all cases be direct for which one of the following document oral evidence cannot be given to remove any ambiguity a will to which the indian succession act 1925 applies a who is unable to speak give evidence in writing in open court the evidence so given shall be considered as oral evidence in which one of the following circumstances court will not allow oral agreement to be given in the evidence for the purpose of varying contradicting adding subtracting from the term of contract proved by the production of document as per the provision of indian evidence act when there is a oral agreement which seeks to be clarity along with the contract that are unambiguous unambiguous a witness who is unable to speak give his evidence in writing in open court evidence so shall given deemed to be oral evidence oral evidence must be direct in all cases where the which one of the following section of indian evidence act recognize the principle of hearsay evidence is no evidence section 60 a deaf mute evidence made by writing in open court shall deem to be oral evidence an evidence given by dumb witness in open court is oral evidence evidence given by dumb witness in the court by writing or sign shall be deemed to be oral evidence 
विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द मेन प्रिंसिपल डेट अंडरलाइन द लॉ ऑफ एविडेंस इज हियर से एविडेंस मस्ट बी एडमिटेड विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट हियर से एविडेंस बिकेम रेलिवेंट इन ऑल कैटेगरी ऑल ऑफ द कैटेगरी मीन्स कैटेगरीज मीन्स ऑन एव in which one of the following cases here say evidence is not admissible where i witness told the fact to the another person is statement of that person which one of the following is not a document under indian evidence act knife recovered by policeman from the position of the accused and produced in the court if x is charged with y murder which one of the following is a here say evidence evidence of a that z told me that he has seen x stabbing y which one of the following statement according to indian evidence act is correct all fact except the content of the docu- ele- of document or electronic record may be proved by oral evidence here see evidence is generally inadmissible however in which one of the following cases it is admissible register admission and confession dying declaration which is no, not the main principle that underline the law of evidence here see evidence must be admitted under the law of evidence the term here see is used with reference to what is done written spoken which one of the following statement is correct here see evidence became relevant in all category mention above the father of the accused did not support the prosecution during the trial that he told the witness that his son accused has committed the murder the statement of the witness would be in the nature of hearsay evidence the detail of the incident printed in the newspaper are characterized as hearsay evidence which one of the following is not a hearsay evidence a statement of the police that on the basis of inquiry conducted by him that the accused was not at home on a right on the on the night of accident and the principle that statement of fact contained in the newspaper is merely hearsay and recently been retracted by supreme court in the case of joseph m puttusri versus t s john The question is whether A assaulted B C disposes that he heard A and C to B B wrote a letter accusing him of theft and I will revenge him no evidence is given about the letter is the statement made by A to D is relevant and whether the court can permit the given its statement no it is only hearsay evidence A informed B that he had been heard X that Z has committed murder of C a few days ago evidence of B when examined as a witness in the court would be considered as hearsay evidence chapter 5 of documentary evidence section 61 to 69 the content of document can be proved by primary or secondary evidence the content of document may be proved by direct evidence and indirect evidence the content of document may be proved under section 61 of the act is either primary or secondary evidence the content of document may be proved either by primary evidence or secondary evidence 
which one of the following is a primary evidence document produced for inspection of the court when a number of document are all made by the uniform process as the as in the case of printing lithography and pictography each is primary evidence of the content of the rest which is among the following statement is not correct according to the provision of indian evidence act where the document is executed in the counterpart each counterpart is primary evidence for the party executing it what is meant by primary evidence none of the above section 62 of indian evidence act 1872 deal with primary evidence a document can be proved by by producing it before the court primary evidence of a document means document itself where a document is executed in several part there each part is a primary evidence of the document which one of the following is a primary evidence counterpart of a document as against the party who executed it under indian evidence act what is not a primary evidence document copies of a common original which one among the following is not a primary evidence a copy made from the compared with the original when a number of document are made by the uniform process as it is in the case of printing lithography and photography each is primary evidence as the content of the rest primary evidence in respect of document which is prepared in many original copies will be all original copies which one of the following is a primary evidence document produced for inspection of the court document produced for the inspection of the court includes written document caricature electronic with section of evidence act deal with primary evidence section 62 a carbon copy of the injury report prepared by a doctor by uniform process by which which the following was prepared was made admitted as primary evidence which one of the following is not a secondary evidence lithography copies made from the compared from or compared with the original is secondary evidence secondary evidence include certified copy of the court judgment oral account of any person of the document who has seen it copies prepared or compared with original secondary evidence is admissible where the non production of primary evidence has been accounted for under indian evidence act a copy compared with the copy of letter made by copying machine is secondary evidence which one of the following is not secondary evidence oral account as the content of the document given by some person who has himself not seen it out of the following which is not a secondary evidence oral account of the photography if on carbon copies of a letter written on a type writer signature has been put in the first letter then copy is will be secondary evidence what is secondary evidence can be given in respect of document only certified copy of document oral account of the content of document by person seen is secondary evidence 
which one of the following is not a primary evidence <coughs> a copy made from the compared with original oral account as the content of document of a document is admissible when give a when give by the person who has seen or written read the document secondary evidence of document means copies of that document total account of the content of document under indian evidence act photo of a building is a secondary evidence which is a primary evidence the commi the commissioner prepared a report and signed it which one of the following is not a secondary evidence <coughs> a copy transcribed from the copy and compared with the copy not with the original copy from which it is transcribed was compared with the original an item of the evidence which is not a secondary evidence is counterpart of the document as against the person who executed it out of the following which is not a secondary evidence oral account and the com- of the company compared with the original oral account of the content of document by a person who has seen is secondary evidence which one of the following is not a secondary evidence <coughs> copy prepared from original compared with it which one of the following is section related to the secondary evidence section 63 photocopy of the document made by from original art secondary evidence secondary evidence of a document means copies of the document oral account as the content of the document this section of indian evidence act provide the content of document must be proved by primary evidence section 64 which one of the following case can be secondary evidence as the content of the document is not only given when the original has been destroyed nay when the original has no, has been found to be inadmissible which one of the following section of indian evidence act provides for admissibility of secondary evidence section 65 in which one of the following secondary evidence relating to document cannot be given <coughs> when the original document is in the possession of person who want to prove it secondary evidence as the content of the document is not admissible when the original has been found to be inadmissible in which one of the following case secondary evidence as the content of document cannot give him when the document is registered one and may be produced before the court the presumption that the computer output shall be taken to have been produced by computer is contained in section 65 b 5 c in which section of the indian evidence act is special provision for mention regarding the evidence relating to electronic record section 65 a under which one of the following section of indian evidence act the content of the electronic record may be proved section 65 b <coughs> which provision of the electronic which provision of the evidence act related to admissibility of electronic record in evidence section 65a and 65b in which provision of the evidence act a special provision of evidence related to electronic record was added section 65a 65b under subsection 5c and 65b indian evidence act a computer output shall be taken to have been produced by computer whether it was produced by it directly or without human intervention by means of any appropriate equipment admissibility of electronic record has been prescribed under section 65b of evidence act in the indian evidence act the condition in respect of the computer output to be deemed to be admissible in evidence as a document contained in section 65b2 
the evidence of the content of information recorded or stored in the computer may be given through computer output without producing of the original provided certain condition are satisfied the said condition including if the computer was not operated properly during the material part of the period over which it was used stored and processed the information for the post purpose of the relevant activity it was not such to affect the electronic record and the accuracy of the content the information to contain in the electronic record is derived from such information feed into the computer in the ordinary course of such activity in which one of the following case notice is required to be given to adverse party before producing secondary document evidence when original is in the possession of adverse party under indian evidence act the provision of the proof relating to digital signature containing <coughs> Section 67 A. For proving execution and registered will, be necessary to call at least one attesting witness. Under Indian Evidence Act, a document required by the law to attest can be proved by calling at least one attesting witness. A document is required by the law to be attested can be proved under section 68 of Indian Evidence Act by calling at least one attesting witness for the purpose of proving registered will it shall be necessary to call one attesting witness at least under section 68 of Indian Evidence Act proving execution of registered will it is necessary to call at least one attesting witness for proving the execution of registered will it is necessary to call at least one attesting witness under 68 of indian evidence act 687 act 1872 a document registered by the law to be attested can be provided by calling at least one of testing witness a document required by law to be attested can be proved under section 68 of indian evidence act only by calling at least one attesting witness under indian evidence act for proving the execution of registered will necessary to call at call at least one attesting witness <coughs> for proving execution of registered will at least one attesting witness has to be examined if no attesting witness can be found must be proved that attesting of at least attestation of at one attesting witness at least is in his handwriting signature of the person executing the document is in the handwriting of that person a will is required to be proved by calling at least one witness when it is registered when it is unregistered when it is admitted if the attested witness deny or does not recollect the execution of document it execution may be proved by one evidence under of the indian evidence act section 71 if the digital signature of any subscriber is alleged to have been affixed the electronic record of the fact that uh, such digital signature that such digital signature is a digital signature of the subscriber must be proved except in the case of secure digital signature when the court obtain a sample of and writing or signature of a person under section 73 of indian evidence act 1872 the court itself may be compared the same referred to expert under section 45 in which one of the following case constitutionality of section 73 of indian evidence act is challenged for the violation of article 20 clause 3 of the constitution state of bombay versus kathikalu which one of the following section is defined public document section 74 which 
of the following is not a public document within the meaning of Indian Evidence Act. <coughs> Injury certificate issued by medical practitioner. Which one of the following is not a public document? An unregistered family settlement. A public document include record of tribunal, record of court, record of public officer. Which one of the following statement is correct? A public document is a document which was executed by public servant in public capacity. Which one of the following is not a public document? Insurance policy. Public document under Indian Evidence Act has been started under Section 74, which is not a public document, document forming the record of will written by the government of the state, which is not a public document, plain or written statement in the suit, which one of the following is not a public document, will, which one of the following is a public document, private work date. Section 74 of Indian Evidence Act 1872 deal with public document. Among the following, which is not a public document? An unregistered family partition deed. Mark what is not a public document within the meaning of the expression used in the Indian Evidence Act. Pronote executing by A while taking loan from the money lender, which is not a public document, none of the above. Which one of the following is not a public document, post-mortem report. Which one of the following is a public document, document forming the record of the act of sovereign authority, document skip in any state of private document document forming record and act of official bodies <coughs> which one of the following is not example of public document insurance policy a private document kept as a public record of the state come under the category of public document public document are mentioned under which one of the following section of indian evidence act section 74 which what is a public private document document other than a public document a document not covered under section 74 of indian evidence act are private document section 75 of indian evidence act 1872 deal with private document Public document under Indian Evidence Act can be proved by certified copy. The producer of getting certificate copy of public document is set in. The procedure of getting certified copy of a public document set forth in Section 76 of Indian Evidence Act. Public document under Indian Evidence Act can be proved by certified copy. Public document can be proved by certified copy. Presumption as to genuineness of the certified copy of document is stated in section 79 of Indian Evidence Act 1872. In which section of Indian Evidence Act presumption as to the genuineness of certified copy is given? Section 79. Section 81 was added in Indian Evidence Act for by the Information Technology Act 2000 to provide the Presumption as to gazette in electronic form. Under which section of Indian Evidence Act provisions for presumption as to gazette in electronic form has been made? Section 81A. Which one of the following is correct? There is a presumption that map of various state of union territory made by the survey of india are accurate under indian evidence act map prepared by t i l t i l r 
appointed by the court commissioner in the suit for removal of encroachment of recovery of possession must proved to be accurate due execution and authentication of power of attorney shall be presumed under section 85 of evidence act when executed before the authenticated by notary judge magistrate which kind of agreement can be presumed by court under section 85a of indian evidence act electronic agreement which one of the following section of indian evidence act 1872 related to the presumption of electronic record section 85a presumption as to electronic agreement provided under that section of evidence act 85a provision as related to the presumption as to the telegraphic message is embodied in indian evidence act via section 88 which one of the following is example of may presume presumption as to electronic document period of 30 year under section 90 of the indian evidence act required from date on which the document is tendered in evidence when its genuineness became the subject of proof execution of document may be presumed if the document is said to be old 30 years section 90 of the indian evidence act applies to testamentary and non-testamentary document a document is said to be in handwriting of a that document is produced from proper cut study if the document is propounding and proved by 30 year when the court may presume about the execution of document produced from proper cut study when the document is 30 year old section 90 of indian evidence act presumption as to document is that 30 year old 30 year old document is produced in the proper cut study court may presume it execution the presumption under section 90 of indian evidence act can be drawn in respect of original document only which provision of evidence act related to the presumption as to document of 30 year old ancient document section 90 due execution of document more than 30 year old coming from the proper custody presumption of fact where 30 year old document is produced before the court it may presume that document is duly executed in respect of certified copy 30 year old which fulfill all the condition laid down in section 90 of indian evidence act the court may presume execution of document may be presumed if the document is to be old 30 year presumption under section 90 of indian evidence act can be drawn in respect of original document when it is not necessary to call certifying writer of the document to prove a document when the document is not a will when the document is 30 year old a document which is made which is old will be presumed to be true by the court if it is 30 year old for more than 30 year in the case where the document proved 30 year old the product is produced for proper custody which one of the following presumption will the court make the court will presume that the signature and handwriting is the signature and handwriting of the person to be was duly executed and arrested attested a document is said to be in handwriting of a that document produced in proper custody if the document is purporting or proved to be 30 year old the court may presume that it is his handwriting how many year old electronic record will be deemed to be proved if produced from any custody which the court is the particular case consider proper five year court can presume about the 
legality of digital signature on the electronic record under Indian Evidence Act 1872 when it is five year old. In order to raise the presumption in the favor of electronic before a court from proper custody, the record must be minimum of five year old. Content of document may be proved by the secondary evidence by primary evidence. Point out the incorrect answer. Evidence P. Procedure and substantive. A person is seen to be with some bank notes immediately after theft in the bank. The presumption is he has stolen money, he has received stolen money with required knowledge. There is a presumption of genuineness regard the cause list on the Delhi High Court website. True. Which document is not admissible without formal proof? Medical report. What type of secondary evidence related to public document may be given? Certified copy of a document. When a document purport to be power of attorney duly authenticated as required by law is produced, the court shall presume its execution and authentication. A disputed handwriting can be proved by calling expert by examining the person acquainted with the handwriting of the writer and course writer of the question document comparison of two admitted and disputed which one of the following is the best evidence direct evidence When it is not necessary to call certifying writer of the document, approve the do uh, document. When the document is a will, when the document is 30 year old. Chapter 5 of Indian Evidence Act 1872 deal with documentary evidence. Certifying copy registered sale did produced evidence. will merely prove of the fact that an original document was registered. Under Indian Evidence Act 1872, reported published in newspaper are no evidence at all. Electronic record presented for inspection of a court under Indian Evidence Act is documentary evidence. Presumption as to the book and chart 87. Presumption as to power of attorney 85. Presumption as to telephonic message 88. Presumption as to plane made by the authority 83. In which year electronic evidence was incorporated in Indian Evidence Act, a part of documentary evidence 2000. When a party refused to produce a document which he has noticed to produce, he can use document evidence afterward. He can use it with the consent of other party. He may use it as an order of the court. Electronic record presented in inspection of the court of the Indian Evidence Act is documentary evidence. Tape recorder, tape recorded statement are documentary evidence. ASUB on the agreement and gives B notice to produce it and the trial A call for the document and B refuses to produce it. A gives secondary evidence of the content B seek to produce the document itself contradicts the secondary evidence of A. He can do so with the consent of the other party. The word primary and secondary evidence is a part of he can do so with the order of the court. The word primary and secondary evidence is a part of law of evidence.